Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina against Morocco. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Well, we talk about this false number nine position, but really he's just an attacking midfield player. The penetration comes from the wide players who make runs from outside to in. Done well, it can be devastating. And so the match is underway. Bupal. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. So this is it for Argentina. World Cup winners in 1978 and 1986. Runners up in 1913, 1990, and eight years ago in 2014. Are they going to do it here in 2022? What a big night for them. Well, it's a massive night. And when you talk about World Cup finals, I always go back to 1978 as a great occasion. Ticker tape in Buenos Aires. The kickoff delayed because one of the Netherlands players had a cast on his arm. Mario Kempes, brilliant player. Ozzy Ardiles, that was Argentina at their best. Can they reproduce that sort of form here today? I think they can. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Bupal. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Well, just looking at everything in Lionel Messi's impressive repertoire, Stuart, it is considerable. What do you think will be especially relevant this time around? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Messi. Here's Marcos Acuna. And Argentina giving it away. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Fractionally offside. Otamendi. Messi. What can they do to stop him running at them? Can he put them in front? Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. Amala has given it straight to the opposition. Messi. Can he give them the lead? The opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, 
pace and power. There was no stopping him there. again with the score line standing at 1-0 Sofian Bufal good movement oh he's left his marker for dead this could level it oh but the keeper with an important save how important is that well he should score from there that's a wasted opportunity he should beat the keeper from that sort of distance Sustained pressure and they have the ball now. Now options are plenty. Bufal. And will it be the leveller? Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Sofian Bufal. Well, he's allowed it to go over the touchline, so a throw in. And unable to keep possession. A move of promise on the flank. Can they forge ahead? And not cleared away properly. Danger averted for now. And they could face difficulties here. Real chance. Oh, it's in! to give them the lead in the final the stuff that dreams are made of well here's the goal again and it's a great ball to put him through good vision to set up the chance and once he gets onto it he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique what an emphatic finish that is underway at 2-1 tight contest here no advantage with them referee says play on well the advantage wasn't helping them and so now they get the free kick and Nesiri Ziyech referees are rightly praised for giving advantage but when there is no advantage it has to be a free kick no card but the referee clearly stating that's the last warning Rodrigo de Paul McAllister and he might be through here and a goal I'll tell you what they're going to be very hard to catch now name on the trophy maybe Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. Now well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. So two minutes of stoppage time here.
Ziyech. And he takes it on. And with that, the first half draws to a close. And the match is underway. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Just the challenge that was required. Sofian Buffal. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Alvarez. McAllister. On to Messi. Lionel Messi. Well, closed down straight away. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Superb effort to keep it in. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Might really be able to trouble them here. That's excellent defending following the cross. And the referee says corner kick. Fired over by Messi. Oh, the flag has gone up, and that's one that's going to need a bit more practice on the training ground. Well, that must drive everybody mad, particularly those players in the box. Mazraoui. Amala. And getting the ball forward. Oh, managing to beat him. He's got to clatter it away. Lionel Messi. And space here on the flank. Very quick thinking there. Ball played nicely. Ziyech. And this would reduce the deficit. And oh, it's in. We cannot declare this contest over. They still believe. Well, as you can see again, this is such a good cross from Ziyech. But I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it shouldn't go in at that near post. underway and a glut of goals here 3-2 McAllister De Paul possession one chances on well he was on his own he had the goalkeeper to beat but failed to do so. Well, he just needed to show a bit more composure there. Take a little bit off the shot, I think. De Paul. Otamendi has it. Regained possession. Not a great challenge. Free kick here. Oh, a really good header. 
But the goalkeeper there to cover up. And the corner has been given. And played short. Oh, he saved it well. Corner again. Can someone get on the end of this? De Paul, Alvarez, an example of how to press. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. Well timed tackle. Cross could be useful. That's all they can conjure for now. Good pressure to win the ball back. Foul. McAllister take it away Unahi five minutes remaining and one thing is certain no one is leaving because it's still close and it's a quality pass. That's a great stop. What a dramatic finish. Fantastic save there. And time for the change now. Playing it in. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. And that's a very good parry. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. We're really closing him down. Marcos Acuna. Papu Gomez. And in the perfect position to read it. And there goes the final whistle. For the third time in history, Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that. Argentina, world champions! They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.